Hi, in this video I'm going to show you on how to draw isometric drawing. As you can see from this diagram, we already have three different view for the orthography, which is the front view, top view, and also the side view. Now for the isometric drawing, we're going to combine these three view to produce the isometric view. So to start, go to command and type DDR modes. And at this windows, choose isometric snap and make sure your grid is on and click OK. As you can see, now we have a grid and red line which represent the top view. To change the view, you can type, you can use the keyboard of F5. Once you press, it's going to show you different type of modes. This is the front view. This is the start view and this is the top view. Now let me start the drawing with side view. To do so, I must choose the side view. Okay, the side view is supposed to be 36 in line. Choose line command and start to enter the dimension. 36, then move upward by 12 units. Then move backward by 36 units and close to produce the rectangular after that we're going to produce the the top view for this part okay and and use f key to change the the view now choose the line back and choose the corresponding edge and bring outer and press 48 and 48 again now bring downward to bring downward, change the view to front view and enter 12 unit and then bring back to 48 then another 48. You can enter 96 straight away but the reason why I did 46 twice so that I can get the two separate lines to distinguish the center line. It may easy, it may ease me to draw the the circle part here with this space let me continue change to top view and choose line and bring it to 96 then bring it back to the end escape and then we're going to proceed to the center choose the front view this is the end point of both lines. Now I'm going to bring in, bring in of 15 unit. It's supposed to be 15 unit from the edge to start this circle here. to move back by 15 minutes okay now I'm going to have another line from this center line with the offset of 7 same goes to this side Okay, now I'm going to proceed with the circle but for isometric drawing you must proceed with ellipse so go to command and choose EL which stands for ellipse and choose I which represented for ISO circle and then choose the center point with the top view then enter the radius which is 7 okay now we're going to repeat the same process 
ellipse I so circle and choose the center point which is on the bottom here supposed to be on the bottom here okay then enter 7 enter okay now we already have got the top view and bottom view here okay now let me trim the unwanted line this is the common trim we trim the unwanted line here and this part So far here, this part here, this part is visible. We're going to move this part. Move the unwanted line. Okay, now we're going to proceed with the other part where it's supposed to be the circle here. Okay, to do so, you must have your guidelines. Proceed with the lines with the top view where it's located. Where it's located, as you can see from this diagram, 12 minutes from the side and also 12 minutes from this side. Minute. I'm going to move inward by 12 minutes. Okay, we're going to repeat the same process. I'm going to move inward by 12 minutes. I'm going to move upward. Complete. And then I'm going to move downward by 5 minutes. Now, move upward by 5 minutes. By 5 minutes. Okay. Now you already created uh, the center point for the circle, for the ellipse. Okay. Click by using top view on the point. Okay, then enter I, choose the L, then enter I, then choose the center point. Okay, then bring upward, it's supposed to be diameter of 10. Then we're going to repeat the same process. E L I, choose the center point here. Okay, and bring upward the diameter of 10. Okay. Now, you can see this is the outer circle and this is the inner circle both to the difference of 5 mm we don't need to draw the inner part since we cannot see that part from the isometric view so trim all the unwanted lines So repeat the same process on the other side. ellipse enter i enter choose on the top view click on the circle then diameter is 10 
if you see on the side here ellipse i click on the center point here then get our diameter and okay let's see then choose three command to remove the unwanted line to proceed with the, the other portion of, of the drawing here the tip of supposed to be 10 choose 9 and then go straight away and we need the 96 points ok now we're going to have a guidelines ok and the center towards there and you go to from this center point you have to go upward by 15 minutes to draw the circle so choose a line and choose the mode click and bring upward by 15 minutes and move inside by 10 minutes and come downward now at this center point you're going to draw the circle of 7 unit 7 unit then this radius of 12 unit so choose ellipse, choose I, then change the plane into front view, click on the point, bring outward, then enter diameter of 12. Repeat the same process, ellipse, isoplane, click on the intersection point, bring upward the diameter of 12, enter. Now you're going to draw a circle of R17. So Ellipse, isoplane, click on the point where it's supposed to be 17. Okay, I repeat the same process. PL, isoplane, and go to the point and bring upward 17. Okay, now you're going to have tangent line from there. Change to side view, choose the edge, bring to the circle until you come with the tangent. Click. Repeat the same process. L, go to the edge of the line, bring it to the circle until you see the tangent line. Click. Repeat the same process on the other side. Click on the edges, bring it to the circle until you see the tangent line. Repeat the same process until you see the tangent line. Okay, that's it. Now you're going to remove all the unwanted part line and using the command. line properly and I want to move this remove this line okay and see this line actually from the inside okay from this portion you cannot see this line so you can remove all the line okay, now I can delete the other line move all the reference line okay I can remove this line as well Alright, this is the final view of the isometry. If you draw from three different from these three different part of the orthography, we already draw the isometric drawing. Okay. So choose all the part and put it under object menu. Alright. Proceed with the dimension. Now we're supposed to correctly choose a line. 